I guess almost everybody of you knows an Alzheimer's disease patient, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's the most abundant form of dementia uh, worldwide. Um, the disease was discovered and described the first time by Alois Alzheimer when he was working in Munich. And actually, he had a very impressive idea much more than 100 years ago, um, that a psychiatric disorder must have a morphological correlate in the brain. So um, there must be really something visibly wrong in the brain. And what he basically found was tons of clumps in the brain, and these clumps are actually killing um, surrounding neurons. And And we believe that the component um, which makes up these clumps is a poison, um, which is killing uh, surrounding neurons. Um, so the component is known. It's called amyloid. It's a small peptide. And um, the idea is basically therapeutically um, to prevent uh, the production of this peptide. So in, during my talk, I will show you a lot of evidence that amyloid is indeed the cause and the trigger of the disease. <coughs> you may know there's a big debate about um, the cause of the disease, but I really think this debate is coming to an end point, to my opinion. And I will then show you a couple of um, potential treatment options um, based on amyloid production and prevent prevention of its production. <laughs>